So following on from the previous video, um, a better question would be uh, would be to ask what must R and H be for any given volume, as opposed to the previous video where where I set the volume to be one. Okay. Um, so 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 now a better question would be what uh, would would be uh, to set the volume to to a general case for V. Okay. So to do this here, so V equals hang on, V equals this here. Um, uh, and then, uh, and then the uh, the surface area is given by this. Uh, re remember, we're, we're trying to minimize the um, the surface area. So, um, so th this here is your constraint. Uh, this here is what we're we're, we're trying to work with. So, uh, rearrange this and bury basically bury the constraint in inside the H here. So, um, rearrange it and then and then put it into the H here. That will then give you this. Okay, and then um, and then tidy up. It will then give you this, and then s quickly sketch it. So uh, so when x <clears throat> when r is big, it wants to it wants to do a a, um, a quadratic here. When r is small, it wants to do this um, this uh, positive reciprocal. So something like this. So merging the two will give you this. So basically, if, if you sketch this graph here, it will look like um, it will look like this here. Okay, so the minimum point will be somewhere around here. So if you want to know the minimum point, um, differentiate this. That will then give you this. Okay, now now set the gradient to be zero. So uh, set this to be zero. That will then take you to here, and then add um, and then uh, and then add this block to both sides. That will then give you this times both sides by r squared. That will then give you this. Okay. So now, um, so so hang on. So um, so v equals this. Now, because we want we want the um, the relationship between the radius and the height. So um, so we don't really want want v here. So so put this thing into here, okay? Because because we're we're trying to get the relationship between h and r here. So rather than expressing the answer in terms of v, um, well, put put this into here. Okay, that will then give you that will then give you this. So basically, that will then take you to here. You see, this is a very elegant answer here because when what what it means is for any given volume here, if you want um, for any given volume, if you want to minimize the um, the the surface area, what you have to do is um, is make um, make r here make r here half the uh, half the length of the uh, the height. Okay, so this here is not a very good, very um, well. Th this here, this for this particular cylinder here, we are not really minimizing the uh, the surface area. So to minimize the surface area, we, we want the the radius to be half the height. Okay, we want the radius to be half of the height. So uh, so maybe something like this. Uh, yeah, um, we, 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 what something like this. Okay, not very well drawn, but but the, the the important thing is that you want the um you you want the radius to be half uh, half the height. Okay, that will minimize the uh, the surface area.